Okay, so today we're going to talk about to be mindset and we're going to talk about um, November nutrition focus and how um, I think I'll start with that in case anyone else pops on to um, go over to be basics, but our plan for November is to help you um, as a group, but also kind of one on one and tailor um, tailor three weeks of meal plans for you. So you have your most success. So what I just did last month and what Mary Beth is doing right now, and actually what Tabitha is going to be doing later in November is um, the ultimate reset, which is it's, it's a nutrition food based cleanse. And we don't want to quite go that deep with you guys right now, but we want to help you lay out three weeks of nutrition. Um, and you're going to follow it hundred percent and you're going to track everything you do, everything you eat, how you're feeling. Um, and you're going to not grab chocolate when you see it sitting on the table. You're not going to grab nuts when you're hungry. You're going to follow this plan. You're going to stick with it and you're going to see some amazing results. And you're going to learn a little more about what you're capable of. You're going to learn a little more about food and, and the value of vegetables and the value of drinking more water and the value of listening to your body and not listening to a whim or what you're just like feeling, feeling like grabbing in an instant. Um, it's not about instant gratification. It's about fueling your body for long term. And it's about seeing success. Like, I mean, why are you here? Why have you come to join us? What are you trying to learn about? I think, I mean, I think everyone's come because they want to feel better. They want to um, be more confident in themselves in just living their best lives. And nutrition is kind of the solution to that. We think, oh, I can just work out and eat what I want. We don't want you to stopping eating what you want, but you just have to be more, um, more planned and more structured about it. So if you start with water first, if you focus on veggies before you reach for other things, you're going to be less likely to reach for those other things. I mean, an example right now it's Halloween and what a week. Um, have you bought candy yet? I mean, we don't even know what we're doing about trick-or-treating, but have you bought candy yet? Have you opened that candy bag? I used to, in the past, I used to buy my three bags of candy at Costco and I always bought my favorites because I'm like, well, if there's leftovers, I want to eat them. And, and then sometimes they'd open and we'd snack on them and then we'd have to buy more candy. And I couldn't understand why my pants were just so tight and I felt so uncomfortable. So I started changing what I did. And I would wait to buy the candy till a few days before Halloween. I would no longer buy my favorites, although my husband always got mad, gets mad because he's like, they're my favorites too. Um, I don't want leftovers anymore. So the other option is I'd give it all. I, we used to steal our kids' ca candy. I don't know if you guys did that, do that. <laughs> What's my favorite? I'll trade you. Um, ooh, that looks dangerous. I better put that away. <laughs> All these things. Um, but so <clears throat> changing the way you do that. And then, and then I switched to giving all the candy to my kids and wanting them to take it away from me. And I'm like, I'm not rewarding them in any way either. Let's limit how much candy they have too, to changing it up again to maybe having healthier treats, maybe not just having candy treats, maybe um, doing something instead of trick-or-treating, which to be honest, we've never done. Um, my kids are 17 and 14 and, and they enjoy trick-or-treating and it's once a year. I won't take that away from them, but um, don't give them like a, a pillowcase and send them to 500 houses. <laughs> give them a bag and go to a smaller number of houses. So you have to help your kids understand and then you have to treat yourself with the respect with with how you can best help yourself i mean sitting down and chowing down on a bag of I mean, just because they're mini chocolates doesn't make them any less <laughs> any more any less don't think about and chances are those treats you're having for halloween you can get all year so if you really have to have chocolate go buy chocolate and have it once. Don't buy a whole bag of mini, which is like 10 chocolate bars. So we, we so often think in this mindset that we won't be able to have it again. But yes, you will. Yes, you will. Like Thanksgiving, pumpkin pie. Oh, I can't have this till next Thanksgiving. 
you, you can actually go to most stores and get pumpkin pie pretty much year round or just enjoy that one treat and really enjoy it. Um, we, I don't, I mean, I've, from doing my 21 day program, I think back to before I started it, I would feel like you know, I was mostly following a nutritious plan, mostly, but I'd sit down and I'd have my big salad. And then I'm like, I feel like I'm missing something. And I go to the pantry and I get the big bag of popcorn and I'd eat out of it. And I'm like, wow, I think I just had like 10 cups of popcorn. <laughs> so much for following that plan. Cause I felt like I was missing out on something, but I wasn't. So since following my, my plan, I've been having my big salad, eating it slower, focusing on what I'm eating. And I'm like, huh, I feel pretty good. And guess what? In two hours, I can have my shake or I can have my veggies and hummus or I can have something else that's gonna fuel me. I'm not missing out on anything. And then after I have that, oh, in two or three hours is dinner time. And then I get another big meal, which is focused on veggies, but it's gonna fuel me and it's gonna taste good and it's gonna fill me up. So focus on, you are gonna have more soon. You, you're not like, just living on snacking, it doesn't end up making you feel good or better or anything. Um, trust me, and that you feel so much better if you just focus on the meals you're having, you can plan them, you can plan amazing things. Um, if you don't plan, that's when you're more likely to need the snacks because you're like, wow, I only had like five carrots and, and uh, you know, a small bowl of soup for lunch and I'm still hungry um, because you didn't plan. If you don't eat a solid meal, you will be hungry. You will, um, I guarantee it. Um, but we give you guys meal plans every week with so many recipes. All of these books have amazing recipes. Uh, there is no, there's no shortage of tools, of things. It just takes a little more work to grocery shop and, sh and stock your house with, with what you need to make these recipes. Or to plan. I plan my dinners. Lunches are often leftovers or a big salad. Or when I'm following a plan, I follow the recipe. So you need to set yourself up for success to be successful. And that's what we want to do in that 21 days. We want to give you the tools to help you realize how easy it can be to be successful and on track and to keep your mindset in the game. So along with that, um, if you choose to be mindset versus ultimate portion fix, I highly recommend you get the book that goes along with it. Um, they're under $20 from Amazon. They're about the same from Beachbody, but if you have Prime and you get free shipping, I'd almost recommend you go Amazon. If you're ordering something anyways from Beachbody, you can throw in the book and you'll get cheap shipping there too. Um, there's amazing recipes in these and it's also like a, a mindset development too in all the reading in there. It helps you understand the programs again, if you've already gone through the videos, um, and it helps get your head in the game for being successful. Alternatively, we have a massive list of books that can help you get your mindset right. But nutrition is, <laughs> it's up here. It's, it's, we get in our heads that you're missing out on, Tabitha's got a perfect example. She's doing a three-day refresh and there's a big box of donuts in her kitchen and she's not eating them because <laughs> she's following a plan right now. But you can sit there and you can go, oh, those donuts, I'm missing out. Or you can go, wow, I'm feeling really good. I'm following a plan. My head isn't fuzzy from the, from the sugar. Um, and just feeling, like, just focus on the good. Focus on... Oh, I'm not doing that. Um, Mary Beth, I don't know what she wants craving this week, but she's week one of, of the program I just did. And you can't, you can't there's no added sugar. <laughs> not at all. And it's actually been crazy for me to <clears throat> just over the last three days. Actually, I kind of started a little bit on Sunday. Like I, you know, I wasn't perfect on Sunday, but um, what I realized is, gosh, how freaking I mean, I guess I knew this, but I'm really like, wow, sugar is addictive. Mm -hmm. Sugar is addictive. And most foods in America, processed foods, which is what most people live on, which scares the poop out of me, that it's 
like the, the things that are in these foods, first of all, are pumped with sugar and chemicals and all this stuff that is just keeping us in the addiction cycle. I mean, it's like anything else. It's like a, a drug almost, you know? And I have, now I'm like, oh my gosh, I can see how someone who, if they were just eating fast food all the time, how they could get sucked in that loop that you just, because you crave more when you have it. And my, even in just a couple of days, I feel so much better. Like I do. And I had a headache, a little tinge of a headache. I had a quarter scoop of Energize today because it is no caffeine, but I did that because I had this headache. I was like, I'm just going to do it because Nicola did it. <laughs> and I do feel better, but I like the idea of not relying on caffeine because I was having, you know, probably typically a scoop and a half of Energize every day. I only need one scoop. I don't need it. Like, I don't need it. It was like in my head. But anyway, I, for me, it's been like, holy cow, the sugar thing. And this book, let me just tell you, this dang book is freaking awesome. Like, I am reading it, like all the details, all the stuff, the things that can come up during this reset that I didn't even think about. I was just thinking it was all about food, but they talk about emotional state and how this can bring up things from your past and things that, you know, um, just all sorts of things to think about. So that's been really interesting. Um, so yeah, I, I'm just enjoying the journey. And I think this 21 day program could be great for a lot of people. But like Nicholas said, I don't think that it's the place to start. You know, I think people need to come with us for a little bit, get on some of these calls, learn a little bit more because it is a lot. I wouldn't want someone to feel set up for like, I, I don't know. I feel like you need to be in the community, in the beach body ecosystem for a little bit before you can just jump into the reset. Um, but it is, it's, and, and even maybe start having people start with the refresh um, because that's kind of like a mini reset, you know, um, just so they can see if that's something that they think they could follow. But yeah, it's, it's pretty mind blowing. And I, I'm, my only regret is I didn't start it sooner. Yeah. I mean, food is so emotionally based, right? How often do we, I mean, we eat because we're hungry, but we eat because we're sad. We eat because we're happy. We eat because we're celebrating. We eat because we're mourning. We eat, <laughs> there's always a reason to eat. Um, and usually it's like, I've had dinner parties and, and my mother-in-law will be like, you're making that? You need, like, you need to make a decadent dessert. And I'm like, but I'd rather have like fruit in what will whipped cream or something. But like we, we have this mindset that we have to like have this rich meal for when guests come over. I'm like, or I can like make this vegetable focused, but delicious meal. Um, and everyone can go, wow, that was awesome. Like we, we get in our heads that this is how something's supposed to be, but it doesn't, it doesn't have to be. So that's what we want to do in November. We want to help. Um, and I, yeah, I mean, it's something I think I'd love to document well. So if you have the, it must be in the other room, the, um, the Alana Molstead one, there's the autumn one. And then there's the Alana one, the, uh, the Alana one has, uh, a three week meal plan in there, which I think um, will be awesome to follow because her veggie focused recipes are super easy, um, especially the cabbage ones. And that is, that will be one. And then I think um, there's so many meal plans we can pull up for autumn if you're doing ultimate portion fix. And then there's also clean week. There's a full, full easy meal plan with options in there too. So those are kind of going to be the three angles we go at for meal plans, but it's going to be, and we'll do, we're going to do prizes. We're going to, I just decided we're going to do prizes. <laughs> if you check in at the beginning with measurements and pictures and weight, and then once a week, we're going to document and then we're going to have the, the final. And it's not about how much weight you lose. I, I think it's more about what you learn. Um, just the, the setting yourself for long-term success. So that is our November plan. Um, and hey, maybe we'll just do it every month. We'll do lay, lay this out because we nutrition is too undervalued um, when nutrition is, in fact, what gets us the bulk of the results. I mean, the workouts are great. 
great for cardiovascular and for muscle building and for everything else. Um, but nutrition is what will, will get you. I mean, just, that gets everything too. It keeps like fuzz, like there's no fuzz in my brain right now. <laughs> like I went through a cycle the last six months I wake up in the morning and I'm like, I feel like I had a, like half a bottle of wine last night. Every morning I was feeling like that. And it's so nice to not feel like that anymore. Not be like, I'm so like, oh, I just, oh, it was so foggy. So anyways, I am going to go off this now and uh, I'm going to share my screen. And I just like to briefly talk about um, to be mindset and this tab. Okay, so I clicked on programs. So beachbodyondemand.com programs, and then scroll down to to be mindset. And if I know there's going to be a few people in the group who do not have their materials yet because they just ordered, but you can download everything here: the Get Starting Right guide, um, the program guide, the tracker, the food list, the meal planning tools. But really, it's just going into lessons in tab number two and starting here. And you just work through the videos. One, two, three, four. And it keeps going, keeps going. Um, most of them are like five minutes, four minutes, four minutes. You don't have to do them all at once. Lay out like four videos a day and just start working your way through. Um, there's added tips like help the scale one up. Help I hit a plateau. Help I fallen off emotional eating. There are videos for absolutely everything. Um, they've actually added in now her, her office hours. And um, these actually are from 2018, but she has, I mean, everything is covered in here. You just have to dig. But the most important thing, whether you're doing to be mindset or ultimate portion fix is watching all the videos starting at the beginning and working your way through and then pulling out your tracker books um i'm gonna stop the share pulling out your tracker books um anytime you buy a challenge pack or a completion pack now i believe you get a new one of these so if you need a new book every month you come to needing a new bag of shakeology just upgrade or get a completion pack. Um, especially if there's a new program coming out you, for the same price as your Shakeology, you get a new tracker book and access to the new program. So <laughs> anytime you need to order something, check with your coach and ask, because we can usually help you get in a few things, um, for, for even better value. Uh, we've, most of us have been doing this for long enough. We're figuring out all the ins and outs of making the most, but um, this tracker book, what I did with my last one is I actually took it to, um, office max office depot and I got it spiral bound. They just break the binding and then you can open it flat. And I really loved mine and I was using it. And then we had a pineapple on our counter and it got overripe and it went all over my book and rotten pineapple does not smell very good. <laughs> just so you know. So anyways, I have a new book now, um, but just starting at the beginning and tracking, writing down your stats, learning how to fill out the tracker properly. And that goes from um, your weekly goals, your weekly planning, your daily mindset, your daily weight, um, your me time, your, your exercise, why today was great. So if we focus, I mean, you can actually bring your mindset development into that and why today was great. And you can even change it to something I was thankful for today. If we focus on things we're thankful for every day, it makes every day a little brighter. Even the days where it snows in October, <laughs> which isn't, yeah, it's not going to happen on this side because we're in California, but it could happen in Colorado too. <laughs> um, but if you, I mean, I will go through this and I'll, I'll do my, my dinners for the week. Um, and how do I figure out my dinners for the week? Number one, 
I pull out my weekly meal plan and decide if, I, if I'm going to follow that meal plan that week or what meals I want to pull from it. Number two, I'll go to um, one of these two books, Autumn or Alana, and I'll pull out recipes that I really enjoy or that I want to try and I'll fit it in there. Um, I'll go to my freezer and say, oh my gosh, I've got this that really needs eating and pulling out of my freezer. Or one of my family members wants ground beef that week or something. I'll go through one of these cookbooks or I'll go to Pinterest and I'll type in ground beef and zucchini because I've got three zucchinis in the fridge that need eating and I'll find a recipe. So use what you have, use the meal planning tools you have and make it effective for you. Um, don't be the person that buys all the healthy food and doesn't use it because you're like, oh, I'm throwing out more vegetables. Use it. Pull it out of your fridge. Make a vegetable stir fry. Once a week, you usually have a vegetable stir fry. Um, so many great ways to season it. And if you're ever struggling, post in the group, I need help. What can I make with this? Um, but we will grill zucchini. We'll stir fry zucchini. We'll, I made um, zucchini... Ilana's book, she has a, a veggies, veggie stuffed zucchini. Um, we had that for dinner last night. There, there are recipes for everything. Um, and there's no reason to ever have vegetables that you have to throw out. Um, just, you have to just stay on top of it. That's, that's your job. <laughs> stay on top of your vegetables so you don't throw anything out. Because there's no reason to waste it. Um, spinach, if you have extra spinach, you can throw the whole bag in the freezer. You don't have to do anything with it. And then just crumble it out into your shake. So, uh, instead of, instead, hey Nicola, instead of throwing out like, you know, <clears throat> the, the veggies that we have sitting, you know, rotting in our fridges because we're not using it, instead go raid your, your dry foods and look at what you actually have in your cabinets. Like packaged food is not serving you. And if you, and, and, and honestly, I don't mean to sound harsh with this, but it's like the, the amount of garbage that you're putting in if you're if you're just you know buying cheap packaged food it's gonna cost you and i get like so passionate about that because i am overwhelmed at what some kids and what families are putting in their bodies and you know they think oh well, i can't afford it i call bullshit on people who tell me they can't they can't afford to eat healthy i'm like really you can't if you spend $200 a month on wine because you drink, you know, four bottles of wine, like then it's just your priority. And I don't mean, I don't mean to sound hard here. It's just, I've had a couple of conversations with people recently where I'm like, no, I'm going to shut that down because you're worth it. Put your time and energy into what is important to you, your health, the health of your family. That is most important to you. I, I can guarantee all the people that we surround ourselves with are all wonderful people. So I know that everybody values their health and the health of their family. So we need to shut this shit down and like clean out the garbage. Get Stop rid of it. Cussing Mary Beth. There's children around. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just saying like raid the pantry. There's a video in you, an ultimate portion fix for raiding the pantry. Raid the pantry. Go through there and look at what you have in there. You know, I know because I found crap in my, I found Duncan Hines little mixing cap. Ugh, no. Good night, kids. You're done. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> After not eating sugar for four weeks, um, I had a I had a beach bar yesterday. It was so sweet. It was so bizarre. I'm like, oh my goodness, that like was. <laughs> I mean, that's how I I had um, dates and a shake last week, and that was fine. But uh, it's amazing how your palate adjusts to not craving that. And I'm, what were, what's the date today? The, I don't even know. It's not showing. Um, the beginning of the month, my daughter said, oh, it's no booze October. No, there was a, it, there was a rhyme. Um, and I'm like, I'm going to be having wine as soon as I'm done the reset. I've, I actually battled Chad on Sunday night. He's like, I'm going to have wine tonight. I'm not going to have rice at dinner. I'm going to save it for wine. I'm like, or you could have rice and fuel your body right and just not have a drink because you don't really need a drink. <laughs> and he didn't have any. I'm like, ooh, <laughs> winning. He's got a lot more weight to lose still. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm at my goal. So uh, 
it's, but I'm like, I let's just do the whole month of no alcohol and see how, see how it goes. So it's just challenge yourself and wait a minute, maybe I don't need that. Um, I don't know the, 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 the benefits right now of how I've been eating so far outweigh any, anything else that I'm like, Hmm. Hmm. Like I'm even letting myself get hungry and then lasting another hour and just being fine with it. It's, I used to have dips. Like I used to like feel all shaky when I didn't eat in time and not having the crap in there. I'm, I'm not getting to that. I'm, I'm, I just, I'm actually feeling hunger again. I'm remembering what it's like to be hungry versus being on my time schedule of, Oh my gosh, I have to eat. I'm going to die. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, um, tell me, how are you doing with your nutrition? Hi, I'm doing good. I, I did switch to the, the B2 mindset. Um, because I, there was some things that I wanted to be able to eat and not feel limited okay and, and so actually what actually gave me in was that cauliflower milton's pizza <laughs> i asked erin is this okay or um and she's like it will be okay on the b2 mindset and i'm like you know there's a few things that i've asked already and it's okay on the b2 mindset so i think i'm gonna switch and it's it's going good so i switched last monday and it's been good um you know i just feel like you said you feel well i feel more free like if i eat all my veggies by the time i get to my other stuff it's like i'm almost full um the only thing though what concerns me is so if i'm almost full and can't finish my protein will that affect me that that was one of my main, main questions track it Okay. See how you feel. And, okay. Uh, I mean, there's there is protein in vegetables. There, especially if you're eating a lot of vegetables, you're getting protein from it. We, you know, okay. people manage being vegan with limited added proteins. I mean, it's coming from beans and vegetables, and um, so it's seeing it's seeing how you feel um, and knowing you can have that afternoon snack if you need it. Um, I actually am ensuring I get my Shakeology every afternoon because I'm like, I don't think I'm getting enough calories if I'm not. Happy. Yeah. Um, especially if you're really focusing on vegetables. So, 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 um, on Saturday, Friday, Saturday, I started getting a sore back. Um, it's not quite the pinch nerve. I've had that before. It's more like a sore back. So I said, okay, I'm going to take it easy. I did two works on workouts on Saturday, <laughs> but one was a stretch and then it was the workout. But Sunday and yesterday, I'm like, you know what? I'll, I'll just take it easy. Maybe a few days. It's so like, so until I'm back. So I'm trying to be perfect on my nutrition. So I don't, I don't want to fall. And then. That, that's great. Are you doing 30 day? Are you doing 30 day breakaway or MBF? Which one are you doing? Uh, so I started doing the uh, morning meltdown 100. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, um, so when I was doing the beach body two years ago, that was mm -hmm. the program that I was going to start. And I always wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. And then I remembered, I'm like, Oh, but that's when I got pregnant. So then I stopped. Uh -huh. And, and so I really like it. It's fun. I really like this morning meltdown. I'm on workout six. Okay, yeah. have you been so, jumping, jump, are you doing a lot of the jumps? I so, did. So. so when I started that program, I had the same issue in my back and it's make sure you're stretching and you're really stretching your hips out and you're foam rolling them. Um, maybe do the stretching from the program, the work is really good for your hips. Because sometimes your lower back, it's not your back, it's your, your hips and your your hamstrings and IT bands can get super tight when you start doing all that jumping. Okay. So the work it's, I think it's called roll and recovery or anyways, the work you'll see is like workout six or seven. It's this stretching workout and it's half an hour long, but it's uh, it really helps you get into your hips. Um, because it's probably, it's, 
it could be your back, but chances are it's not your back. <laughs> chances no, yeah, are you're back. probably right. Cause I don't think it's my back cause I've had back issues before and it, you can feel the pain going from the hip down to the leg. And it's not like that. It's more like a soreness All right. on my back. Okay. I will do that. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. That's the, I think that's the, so many of these workouts, if we, especially in that first week and two, um, Transform 20 did the same to me as well. And it was the, both of them, it was the jumping. I have to build up better, not just okay. dive right in. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why this running program is so good. They've got all these roll in recovery days and we have to like make sure people do them because running, running hurts if you don't ease yourself in and take care of your body. So I have another question. Yeah. So I'm so glad you brought out that point um, where you said that we can, like we can order the challenge pack since we're getting the, the Shakeology anyways. So with that, we would get the equipment that you get with each? Yes. Oh. So you can order a completion pack and it will be, I think they'll be, so you, you would get the equipment from the other program for like $20 as opposed to um, so if you were to do 80 day obsession for 80, yeah, 80 day obsession, for example, you would be much better off for your next bag of Shakeology ordering the completion pack because you'll get the sliders and the loops thrown in and then ordering separately the sli slider and, and loop package. Right. And if, you're, and if you're beach body on demand, always know like <clears throat> whenever your beach body on demand is coming up for renewal, make sure you cancel your current beach body on demand the day before it's going to renew. And we can show you how to do all that. I think Nicola even has a video on that. Uh -huh. and you can you can get a new challenge pack that will include a year of beach body on demand. Uh, whatever, usually it's, it can be around whatever thing is on promotion that month, whatever program you get free access to that. If there's a new launch, plus you'll get Shakeology or performance for, I mean, like right now it's 160 and that includes all of that. And I think the completion packs, most of them are 130. If you already have Beachbody on demand, is that correct? So yeah. that's the same price as Shakeology alone. So right there, it's, I mean, if, if you're paying as a customer, right. Rather than a coach, but coaches, if you're a coach, coaches can buy uh, those completion packs as well. We all do it. We all, you know, make the best of our, our dollars, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get your best bang for your buck. Yes. <laughs> cool. Okay. Um, I am going to wrap this up because I'm starving. It's my lunchtime. <laughs> Um, and so my lunch is actually leftover spaghetti squash from two nights ago. And I'll let, on top of that, I'll have a leftover curry, um, vegetable curry, coconut milk curry I had last night. Um, so pretty much all vegetables, um, and it'll be delicious. And I'm going to have to heat it up again. <laughs> I, get to okay. have power, I get to have power greens. Woohoo! Yeah, I should. <laughs> you two both have limited lunch. <laughs> okay, I will share this shortly. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Yeah. Thank you. Bye, Thank Thanks you. for coming on. Thank you. Bye. Tabitha.